Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com. And in this tutorial, we're gonna actually create our database called School. So essentially what I wanna do within this tutorial is basically recreate this image within our database, within our MongoDB server. So first we're gonna create a database called School. We're gonna create two collections, students and faculty and we're gonna insert a document within each collection. So I'm just gonna head over to Visual Studio Code. I'm gonna to go to Terminal, New Terminal, and we're gonna type Mongo, and this is going to execute the Mongo shell. Now from here, I can actually insert commands to communicate with the server. So I could type in show DBs, and you can see that we have an admin database, a config, and a local database. So the first step that we wanna do is actually create the school database. And in order to do that, I'm just gonna type use school. Now you can see it says switch database to school. Now what I wanna do is create our collection, our students collection. So I'm gonna say db.students.insert. And insert is a method and within this method, we could pass in an argument, which is going to be a document. So I'm just gonna pass in a JSON document. I'm just gonna say name. We're gonna pass in Bob. And he has a GPA of 4.0. Now, if I hit enter, you can see it says write result inserted one. That means we successfully inserted this document into our students collection. So now let's actually make sure that this was inserted and we could execute a different method. So I could say db.students.find. Now find is gonna take a query argument, but we're not gonna pass in anything. When we don't pass in anything within the find method, that means I want you to show us all the documents within our students collection. So I'm gonna hit enter. And you can see our inserted object. So we have a property of ID. Now ID is an automatically created property of whatever we insert. It is unique. So that means that if I had a thousand students within this database, ID for that particular document is always going to be unique. There's only going to be one document with this ID within the student's collection. And then you can see that we have name, Bob, and GPA of four. So from here, let's actually create our faculty collection. So I'm just going to say db.faculty, and we're going to insert And this time, instead of saying, passing in a JSON object, like we did up here with students, we could just pass in a JavaScript object. So let's take a look at that. So I'm just going to say name, and let's say the guy's name is Peter. And we're gonna give him a salary. And let's say he makes $40,000 a year. So I'm gonna hit enter and you can see right result inserted one, so that's good. So now if I type in db.faculty.find, you can see our inserted document within the faculty collection. So last but not least, I wanna show you a couple more commands. So we said show dbs and that displays all the databases that we have. So if I hit enter, you can see that our school is now a listed database. If I wanna select that database, I could say use school. And now you can see it says switch to database school. And now let's say I wanna know what collections are within our school database. I could say show collections. And you can see that we have two collections within our school database called faculty and students.